In this video, I'm going to show you how to put together a timeline or Gantt chart for your research project. Let's start on a blank Word document and we'll always start with a title. Seems like the right place to start. Then go to insert table and insert a number of columns. I'm suspecting and I may be wrong that we'll need a research phase um, and let's say the study runs over two years every three months we need a column for and remember this is not an exact science you can always add or remove columns afterwards that's very easy to do now here you'll complete your months let's say we have three months where do we start this year January to March April June, July, to uh, September, October to December. And we'll copy this because we'll need these exact same months on this side. Now here you're going to list your research phases. Start with proposal development. Super. But now we, we would like to represent the months here. So the three month increments, it's too much for us. Go to table design. We want to make it more specific uh, layout and click on insert right because we want one column for each month. So we have a column for January already. We have one for February. Let's add one for March and do the same here. April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Same here. And I now I know now it starts to look messy. I'll give you a solution to get out of this mess very soon. So now go and before we, we remove all these blocks or, or start to erase things, um, you can complete all your phases down here. You may need some extra rows. And then let's get going and clean this up. Go to the eraser tool. So under layout, eraser, and then just delete these additional little lines so that your cell looks like this. Very nice and neat. You see where I'm going. And do the same for this very last one. Now, as you can see, um, you can click the eraser again. As you can see, things are not nicely spread out here. So what you do is you highlight this section to here. And you go to distribute columns under layout, distribute columns look how neat. Now we want to indicate the year as well so you can go to layout, insert above and let's say this is 2021 and this represents 2022 and again take your eraser and just take away these little lines not that one yes that one as well this one and this one and this one now to make it look nice and neat highlight these sections and just put it nicely in the middle and again you can make this bold and the rest you can leave as is so now the next step is to indicate where your phases will be where you will when you will do these activities so proposal development will typically happen in this first few months, Let's say the first three months it may take longer, but it depends on your own study. So just use your own discretion. Go to your table design tools, go to shading, choose a nice gray color. If you want to make it um, a color, that's fine as well. If you're not planning to print, um, if you suspect somebody's going to print it, maybe just make it a nice gentle gray color. It's all up to you. If you make it, want to make it more colorful, that's also fine. Let's opt for the gray in this for this video. 
and then you go to protocol departmental presentations and you do exactly the same thing let's say you're going to present there then you're going to submit for your school assessors and maybe ethics at the same time and you complete it like that all the way through so there's there's different ways to put this gantt chart together so play around with all the various different ways to do it um, if you need more years say you're doing a phd you may need to put it in um, in portrait and not in landscape and i've got another video to show you how to insert a landscape page in a portrait document i hope this helped enjoy this postgraduate journey go and change the world out there if you found this video helpful smash the like button for more useful tips to boost your research experience, subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below this video. And while you're at it, hit the bell so that you get notified whenever I produce a new video. If you need a solution to a challenge not yet covered on my channel, leave a comment in the box below. See you in the next video.